welcome back to my channel. It's Janelle, and remember, if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe by hitting the button down below or wherever the button is. And I was gonna say like this video, but we haven't even started. But if you like it already, make sure you like the video too. I'm sure everyone's gonna be wearing bathing suits, so what better DIY to do than some DIY bathing suit trend? Let's just jump right into it, and here are five DIY bathing suits that you can do. The first DIY bathing suit trend is the triangle cutout. Just remember when you are doing this DIY or you're gonna try it and you do the cutouts, you might wanna put some spray protecting with like a clear nail polish or something around it because if it keeps spraying, your bathing suit is just gonna disintegrate and you're not gonna have a bikini left and everyone's just gonna see everything and that's not gonna be cool. Bathing suit trend number two is fridge. This is the easiest way to DIY anything. Just like a purse, you can put the fridge along the top of your bikini. I suggest doing this with a bandeau type of bikini top that you have, and all you're gonna have to do is get some fabric glue. Do not use a hot glue gun because it is not going to last, so don't cheap out when doing this. So get some fabric glue, put a line across the top bandeau of your bathing suit, attach the fringe and you're good to go. The best thing about this is you can either buy some fringe that's already made at the fabric store or take some old fabric that you have at home and just keep cutting all the way up and create your own fringe. Third bathing suit DIY trend is Sharpies. I can't believe I've never actually thought of doing this DIY before because I have so many Sharpies sitting over there right now that I never even occurred of doing this before and I've done this with shirts and everything else in the past but why not take some Sharpies and decorate your own pattern on a white bikini. Really cool like this trend that you see here that has a whole bunch of like geo uh, geometric, I can't say the word, geometric shapes on it. But what if you do the big popular trend of doing some pineapples or watermelons all over and a good option is to my past DIYs I've done things with stamps. So you could use a stamp to create this pattern onto your bathing suit bottom and top and easily create a fruit pattern bathing suit for, for like way less than you're going to find in stores for sure. The fourth DIY is turning a one piece bathing suit into a high waisted bathing suit just for a bottom and I guess you could use the top as well if you wanted. But the problem with this is you're gonna have to find a vintage bathing suit and I don't know if you wanna buy a secondhand bathing suit. I don't know how that goes, if they actually sell those at the thrift store or not. Maybe you have an old one piece bathing suit that you can use. So what you wanna do for this DIY is take the one piece bathing suit, put it on and make a measurement of where, how high waisted you want the bomb to be, make a mark, cut it off and sew down the top just to make a clean edge. And if anyone has tried this DIY, please let me know and put a comment below as I'd love to see the finished product and if this actually turned out for you. Last but not least is number five. And I think the best way to DIY anything is to just plainly accessorize it. And for this, you could do anything from like sequins, maybe patches. Patches would be really cool. If you haven't seen my DIY patch skirt, make sure you go check that out. But put that all over your bathing suit as well. Why not? There's so many fun ones that you can find that it just would create a very unique look. But yeah, you could use sequins, you could use ribbon, fringe we did before, but the bathing suit is your oyster and you can do whatever you want. Those were the five DIY bathing suit trends that I think are gonna be big this year. But I'm going to try another bathing suit DIY trend next week, but it's not one of the five that you see in this video. So make sure you stay tuned for that as I'm not gonna tell you right now because first of all, I don't know if it's gonna work out. I haven't even tried it. I just have the idea. So I'm gonna give it a shot and we'll see if it works out. Maybe I'll just post a fail video if it just screws up and doesn't work anyways. As always, thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you next week, bye.